Hey guys, what's up? Today I have a new update for Four Seasons for you. As you know, in August we released Demo Island with the new Ang stuff. And since then we basically worked heads down on maps. We are almost finished with all the big maps now, so Northern Water Tribe is almost done. We're gonna soon go back to the very old maps that don't hold up anymore and touch them up. But in January this year, and huge shout out to our team member Energy, we worked on new animations, new gameplay stuff, new visual stuff, even menu stuff. And basically we have a whole new <laughs> we have a new walk animation, we have a new run animation, we have a new fast run animation, we have a new swim animation with a new complete new swimming system too. So you can proper dive down now, not just under the surface. You have a swim boost with the stuff. Although we are still a little bit on the fence on that. If you want to keep it like this. I mean it looks cool, but I'm not sure if we want to use like the air bending tree, I would say, from Aang for this. I kind of want to use a little bit more water bending stuff for this. So let me know if you can think of any part of the show where an Waterbender is swimming fast underwater. I'm pretty sure there was one scene, but uh, I couldn't look it up in time. But if you know, let me know the episode number so we can look it up and maybe change that a little bit. We updated the pole balancing, we updated the crouch, the slide, the gliding, the air scooter, even ladder climbing, which is not in the demo because there are no ladders, but we also updated that. We added some arm flailing when you fall, and we also reduced the drying duration because it was a little bit long, and we also put it on circle because it felt a little bit weird if you want to use the air scooter, but then first has to die. So now it's on circle. Rotocone also added new sounds to the helicopter and to the gliding. And for the gameplay systems, as I said, we added a new swimming system, a swim boost. We added a work in progress version of water bending, which looks really nice. We added some momentum to the glider, so it's not always the same speed when you glide. You can actually gain speed if you glide down and lose speed if you glide up. We also added a momentum carryover from falling into gliding. The glider boost is now on a cooldown and on another button or boost button, the R2 button. We added a terminal velocity because previously and could literally go faster and faster when you fall down. That's not the case anymore. We also added more control for the free falling. And when you hold jump now, he jumps a little bit higher. It feels a little bit more floaty, more airbendery. We also added a stealth barrel. You can approach it with circle and press crouch. So you can go into the barrel. And a whole lot of dependencies that have had to do with crouch. So previously we had some bugs like when you interacted with like an NPC, talked with it and you were crouching under one thing, you would stand up into that thing. That kind of stuff doesn't happen anymore. We updated the ledge grab a little bit, but we probably gotta take a proper look at that again soon. And we also changed how the end cup and double jump attacked. Though that is experimental because ideally I wanna have it like that, that the end cup is like on a hold always and the double jump is just double jump. Basically, um, currently it's like the end cup you can only use when you are falling and the double jump is only when you are like ascending. But we definitely gonna wanna take a look at that again. We updated some Momo flying, we remade the first person camera for Momo and added the fire search hat as a skin for Momo as well as a big head mode <laughs> because why not super easy to edit and for the visual updates Energy updated basically the complete appearance of Aang and we realized if we want to do like certain scenes from book one we have to have him in his like swimming outfit and the way Aang was sculpted or set up we couldn't really do that because all his clothes were basically his body so we could also not do like battle damaged things or if he just has like his trousers on or something. So we changed the whole system of that. So he has like basically layers now that we can turn on and off. So with that, we basically added a whole bunch of skins. We added the swim suit in quotation mark, a shirtless version. Of course, the new updated book one look. We also for fun added the book three outfit because I really like it. The bonzo hat that we already made for Omashu, the fire festival mask, which we also get to do last year. And for fun, a fate hairstyle, which is like a meme. I don't think it's gonna make it in a full game. But it was funny and we added like a experimental water flask that you will be able to buy in game once you go to the pirate bay to basically save up a little bit of water that you can carry around this will not always be there and we might actually add an option to also turn that off and we added a customization station in the demo island where you can change everything basically what i just said and you can also mix and match stuff if you want yeah we also fixed a whole bunch of things i'm not gonna go through all of that because it's way too much <laughs> For the menu and the UI, we added a way to change the in-game volume. Been holding it off because there's not really a point in dreams because you sh can change the volume in the dream settings. But we're gonna do that anyway for like different soundscapes. So for like voices, gameplay sounds and background sounds and stuff like that. We also added a simple UI for customization that might change a little bit. We just drew that together for the demo. We also updated the control set with the updated controls for all the mechanics. We updated the look for the button prompts and also updated the look and 
controls for the photo mode. Yeah, some small changes to Demo Island 2 and across the board, of course, also a lot of optimization, cleaned up logic and stuff like that. Aang is actually less memory now than it was before, which is crazy because we added so much. And yeah, one thing you probably noticed if you played the old demo, the glider is now inverted by default. The reason why that wasn't the case before was because we didn't have like any like momentum or speed associated with it. So basically when you press forward and then use the glider and still pressed forward, you would slam into the ground. <laughs> and that isn't the case anymore because if you jump up, use the glider, you already have like upwards momentum. So basically that changed everything. So the glider is inverted by default now, but you can still invert it in the options. In the following days, we also fixed a whole bunch of things. We're gonna continuously update this, as I said in the August video, with the new stuff, with the new additions and fixes. We are currently experimenting with NPCs. We might actually get that into the demo somewhat soon. We already experimented with it like in the development version and we get a whole bunch of them into the map. I was actually surprised energy is a genius. <laughs> so yeah, we might see some people walking around on Demo Island soon. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, enjoyed the update. If you want to play this, you need to have Dreams on PlayStation. Search for Four Seasons in Dream Surfing inside of Dreams and you should see it. Four Seasons, Frank Graded Avatar Game, Demo Island, The Orange Thumbnail, you will find it. If you still have an old save on Demo Island, I think you need to reset your variables or reset your dream because we added a whole bunch of variables mainly for the menu and for the skins, but then you should be able to play. Again, a huge shout out to our team, Rotocrone, Energy, Juvi, who was featured last time. The best team imaginable. Without them, it wouldn't be possible. So I need some clips in the comments, please, for them. Anyway, that's it. Stay safe, wash your hands and bye-bye.